morning. I'm on another little trip out today. Off to see my friend George, who has a detailing shop. Not only does he have a detailing shop, I'm pretty sure he might have some roof rails for this Volvo. So, hopefully, we're gonna check in with George, because I haven't seen him for a while. I'm gonna give him a gift. We've got a Jeff Boys car mug for him. See what he's got going on with his new business, which is a detailing company. Um, maybe see some cool cars, and find out a little bit more, hopefully, about the paint on this car. Um, I think this is a clean car, and I think it deserves a bit of a polish. So, we'll get George's expert opinion, and find out exactly what he thinks. If we can find him, there he is. Ahoy! I know, mate. I haven't seen you for ages. Ladies and gentlemen, here's George. George, I haven't seen you for ages. Been forever. How have you been? I'm alive. Yeah. Been busy. You've been busy. Very busy. George has a problem with broken cars, right? So George was building a track day car um, all of my life, actually. Yeah, still happening now, but a different one. You've never actually been on a track, have you? No. You did try to come to Donington. And then it died. The night before. Yeah. Yeah. And then since then, you've just had a run of bad luck and then started a business. Yeah. So, cool. it, yeah, it's been a bit of a weird year. So you're, you're doing like high end detailing now. Effectively, yeah. Going all right? Yeah. yeah, not too bad. I mean, we've got some good clients coming up and yeah. uh, staying around. Um, a lot of the time we're dealing with, I mean, Range Rovers, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, which is all right for a first year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get the odd days where you're dealing with minis and you dump your XC70 in the middle covered in crap. How is your XC70? Is it, oh, is it brilliant. treating you well? Oh, it's brilliant. You like it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, the roads in Herefordshire are terrible, aren't they? Yes, but so this they is, are the worst in the country because they are the worst. In the allegedly, country. Herefordshire has more roads than any other county, which is the excuse the council use. But they no, are terrible. Yeah, but you've got some quite big rubber I mean, on surely, that. Surely, you should be more aware of the roads being crap if you've got more of them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is the XC70. Um, you're running 17 inch canisters, which are actually from the earlier car. If yes. we're going to get real geeky, but you're running quite big tires on that. They have to be 17, because it's also got the XC90 front brakes now. Yeah, so you so can't run anything stops smaller than that. a little bit quicker. Yeah. Or a bit better, should I say. Because it's a heavy old boat. No, manual. Manual. Six nice. Six speed manual. Deep Six speed bar. are the ones to find in these, aren't they? Because the automatic yeah. gearboxes can be a bit tricky. Oh, yeah. Or they like to die. Yes. Is well, that a set of Volvo 850 pegs back there? No, there is one Volvo V70R satellite on top of two Subaru wheels. Oh, right, okay. Sort of oh, were these called, these were called satellites, were they? Yeah, so they were the, were they 17s? Yes, they are, yeah. I don't think they look as good. They look too yeah. small on the car, don't they? And they're not very strong wheels, I don't think. No, I've heard that as well. They were on the laser. Funny story is I had a set of four that I sold. Yeah. Then opened the boot and realised there was actually a set of five. Brilliant. So, I've kept the fifth one. So you had two V70Rs, a saffron one. A saffron and a laser and blue. And then a laser blue. Both of which weren't very great. Yeah, so the, we, you blew up the saffron one the night before the track day. Yep. And then, and the, then the laser one was just rotten. Right, okay. It just you. wasn't, for me, it wasn't worth the time. The money that I put into it wasn't massive. Yeah. So it was better off me splitting it for bits. Yeah, yeah. Using the engine in the 850. So let's have a look at your 850 then. Yeah. Because I nearly bought this one. You bought it as a, was a non-runner. Non-runner from, it was like Devon or something. Yeah, I, I remember. I saw the car. It was too saloony for me. But it's a, it's a good shelf. <laughs> it's a good shelf. And sadly, the shiny side of the bonnet, if, if the said person ever watches this video, yeah. don't worry, but he did put a box on the bonnet and it has scratched absolute buggery out of Oh, so right. did have a lot of time and effort in it. Right, got but you. So you were polishing one side and not the other? It's the 850-50. The 850-50, I like I it. I bought it all through. All right, um, cool. It will eventually be the advertising piece for the business. You, yeah. you, you have cars dropped off and taken away and you yeah. see a difference when you collect, but you don't see the difference side by side and there's only so much photos can show you yes that's right whereas obviously this is something you can actually walk around yeah and uh get a proper feel for and that's the volvo 740 that you said you never buy this is the 740 that has been owned by 
Georgie, who's hiding off in the corner oh, yeah. for the past two years, and then finally starts to pull her finger out and actually get something done. But it's a cool car in it because it's oh, a turbo. Cool. Turbo um, is cool and manual. And it's quite clean, and it's been set outside this Volvo Specialist for donkeys because I remember seeing yeah. it. Yeah, because funnily enough, it was bought from my wash bay. Well, yes. It's currently my wash bay. Yeah. So it was there originally. Nice. We came in and it was a laugh and a joke saying we'd eventually buy it. Yeah. And uh, we bought it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Not we bought it. I just got the look of that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. What does it need? Because I remember, didn't it have a real funny running problem that no one could work out? Well, we think we've got to the bottom of that when we first... In fact, don't, but didn't both of these cars have real funny running but problems that no one could work out? The funny running problem that the 740 had was the fact that, I mean, this is its block. Or one of its blocks. Uh, and that's what it looked like when we picked it up. Right. That there, was, there wasn't an engine. Oh, okay, fine. Or a gearbox. Yeah. But it is, it's a proper turbo intercooler, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's badged so as a turbo one. intercooler. Um, 89, so it was a crossover year car as well, so it's a bit awkward with the electronics. Yes. Um, I'm sure someone who watches the video will decide, no, they're not awkward, but please get in touch and yeah. save me a load of headache. Manual car as well, and comes with the um, optional uh, piece of wood on the dash. That is for stopping mice getting in. Right. In a barn. Okay. Cover the hole in the floor. Yeah. The, the, where the gear stick goes, it's not rotten. Excellent. And uh, then mouses don't get in. Cool. And my friends Paul and James will both be pleased to see a Crossfire on the channel. Which well, is for sale? I'm not buying it. Be? I don't like Crossfires. Oh, no, but your friends might. I know. And <laughs> if, if I was, it would have to be a convertible anyway. Look how ugly, ugly that back end is. But respect to anyone that buys one because it's different. And I'm, yeah. I'm always happy to appreciate automotive stuff that's different. Yeah. So, and you have a Hot Wheels collection, which I didn't oh, know I about. So let's go and have a look at that. I have had a tie inside, but it has been covered in coffee glasses and mugs and stuff. So oh my gosh, you've got diorama. Oh yes. Oh, I love oh, this. Hang on, hang on. Where did you get these from? Uh, they were off, I think the majority of them were just eBay. Really? A company called G. Oh, he's got lights. Wow. you got some serious supercars going on in there. I didn't know you were really a supercar guy. I like the Starbucks, that's pretty cool. And the 7-Eleven's ace as well. Yeah, this is a very, very nifty Hot Wheels collection. You're a proper Hot Wheels geek, aren't you? You're, you're, more, no. you're more Hot Wheels geek than me. No. Well, maybe. I mean, we've got the, the Volvo that everyone chases, the Super Treasure Hunt. The Super Treasure Hunt. The proper fancy one. Um, I don't really know much about Treasure Hunt cars, if I'm honest. How, what what makes that a super treasure hunt? So you've got a normal one yeah. here. So it's got different wheels. The super treasure hunt has rubber tires like premiums would. Right. And then the paint is slightly more shiny. Oh, so okay, I can't fine. remember if they call it Spectra Flame or if it's yeah. just a, a different metallic they use. Yeah. Got you. And that's why it's in a case. That is why it's in a case. I've probably opened loads of treasure hunt cars. <laughs> it wouldn't be surprised. It's... And just throwing them on the shelf. Um, I like that you have a Volvo run. Of course, you had a Volvo that looked exactly like that one. Oh, yes. They basically copied your Volvo Which with I that. I believe is dead now. No. Well, I've been checking the MOTs, and unless it's got... What was it? Did it just run out of MOT? Because it hasn't been put on five red. Yeah, the green one. No, it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. And I didn't kill it. Mmm, <laughs> that was a fast car, that was. That was fun. It was one of the fastest Volvos I've driven. It was. I had a lot of fun with that car, but I think it was bought by a chap that thought he was going to make a profit on it. But you, yeah, you're not I gonna saw make... it come up for sale, and it was like... Mm. But it had a hole in the bonnet, so how are you going to make a profit on it? Oh, exactly. What are you doing over here? Uh, restoring the headlights. That's a, actually a good time to, to catch us, it's just as we finished doing the prep. Does that stay... Clean once you've cleaned it like that. Yeah, so what we do. Oh, sweet. Take... Can you do my tail lights? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can do. So, what you do is you take all of the original UV coating off. Yeah. And uh, replace it with brand new, fresh stuff. So, it's effectively a brand new set of lights without the electrics. Excellent. Um, and, quick plug for the business here it's a lot cheaper than buying yourself a new set of headlights. Yeah, and the results are fantastic. Georgie loves doing them. I don't like doing them. So, if it's just me here, don't book. <laughs> yeah, but that's dead rewarding because you can, like, see the difference that you're making. Oh, yeah. That's brilliant. Um, what I'd like you to do is have a look at my 850, because you know 850s, yes. and um, tell me what we can do about the paint and 
tell me what you think we should do okay. to make it a really clean car. Um, I suspect it's never been properly polished. It's a low mileage car at 79,000 miles. Yes, because this is the car that I was actually interested in. It's a I nice think one. I messaged you about it. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah. Um, 2.5 20 valve. I didn't realise it was a 20 valve when I bought it. Right. It wasn't until I popped the bonnet, I was like, oh, wow. It's a perfect It's a 20 car. valve. And they are the perfect car because they are simpler. I'll come back to your Hot Wheels collection in a minute. <laughs> They're simpler than the diesels, but you still get decent fuel economy out of them. And you can wind them on something rotten, can't you? They rev really high. Oh, no, they're brilliant cars. The only thing that I think is the 10 valves sound better. They do. They do sound better. You need to decat these. Yes. Uh, but this is the same car as my track day car, and that car was super fun. Yes. Um, so I had it clean the other day, and it came out with, like, this weird, like, scarring in the Did paint. It look like this before. Um, how do you mean? Was it, were the marks already in the paint before? I don't know, because I, I didn't look at it closely enough. I was going to say, I'm not saying that they use something incredibly harsh, but it, it could have been, been that. polished up before you collected it, and then they've used something that has stripped polish off. That explain why it's so patchy. Yeah. Because it does look like chemical damage, but... Can that be recovered? Don't see why not. Cool. Don't see why not at all. It'd be, um... Probably wouldn't even take that much. Brilliant. I mean, you've got marks down here that probably won't come completely. Yes, I mean, there's some pretty deep... There is some pretty deep, like, keying. Actually yeah. looks like someone's driven it down a very, very harsh bush, you know, when you yeah. get country lanes and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of paintwork, and you'll know this, and I said this on a video the other day, there's no rust on it. So normally they rust on the front wings, don't they? Yeah, and by the time you see it, it's too late. Exactly. It's, it's, it's but the only got... mark is... It's yeah, got a dent on the... Dink there. Exactly, but that's it. No, I was going to say, it's, it's a... It's actually a really straight car. It is, isn't it? It's clean. It's a nice example. Um, I've done chrome wheels on this one as well. I do like that. It's quite funk, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little bit more bling than what you get as standard, and it polishes it really well. It's yeah. almost like um, oh, like Los Angeles spec. You know, like California cars always had chrome yeah. wheels in the 90s. Chrome wheels on the 850. I like it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm going to go back to your Hot Wheels collection and then you work out how much you charge me to do the car. Yeah, no bother, we'll work something out. Hot Wheels. I'm loving the diorama. It's very cool. Does he play with them when you're not looking? Is he, is he, is he here moving them all around? I do. I actually love messing with my display case. Oh, he's got the E30 Touring. I've not seen that one yet. That's a lovely little casting. Very cool, rare little Hot Wheels car. This is gonna be a terribly long, boring video for people. Um, and you've got the Sierra Cosworth, which is very cool. I've got one of these in my collection, of all the uh, 240 Coupe. Oh, it's not 240 Coupe, is it? It's a 142. Of course it is. Um, I love a purple car. And then your oh, Rowan Atkinson's McLaren. I need that in my collection because I've made a video about Rowan Atkinson's. McLaren, so I, I actually need to order one of these. So I'm going to do that when I get home. Um, what's that? Is that a Corrado? I didn't even know they did a Corrado. Is he on some sort of subscription thing or does he just hunt for them all the time? Do you get these sent to you or do you buy them online or? So you... The top, top row with the red cards. Yeah. Are red line clubs. So, so you, you have, have to be in the club? You have to order them online. You have to have a membership um, and then they're, they're limited run, some are numbered, some aren't. Um, they haven't really done a numbered run in quite some time. I'm going to join. But um, all of the, the premiums, which are below that, they're yep. all like, Sainsbury's finds. The, yeah, yeah. the top left was actually a birthday present to me. Okay. From Georgie. Um, Brilliant. It's the chase car. Again, all those nerds will understand. Yep. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's a mixture of hunting things down randomly finding things on Facebook and then uh, It's a bit of an obsession isn't it and I tell you what it's cheaper than buying real cars It is cheaper than buying real cars until you realise that you can buy lots of these <laughs> And you've got two hit things here that I love Hot Wheels and um, Frank's Red Hot Sauce <laughs> Yes <laughs> I love Frank's Red Hot Sauce That's probably no good anymore Put it on everything <laughs> <laughs> And then we've got some standard Hot Wheels over here as well. This is a nice little casting, isn't it? The Audi. Yes. I really like the Audi RS2. Um, what else have you got? 
Yeah. It's a row of Porsches. I was going to say you like your Jap cars, but the Hot Wheels developers themselves like their Jap cars, don't they? Oh, yes. There's so many Jap cars um, that come out Got as Hot Wheels. The coolest supercar ever, the, the Storato. Where's your Storato? Yes. Oh, wow. I didn't know they did a Hot Wheels Storato. It's just come out. Has it? Yeah. So where did you find that? That was in Tesco. My eight-year-old will love that. I need to find one for him. Um, yeah, you've got some really, really superb models here. There is more. This is just the, my favourite, should I say. Yeah. And, um, Brilliant. I think I would end up covering the entire place if I was to protect it on display, which isn't, isn't really good for business. No, I, I, I love them. I, I'm limited. I have my 80-car cabinet, but I quite enjoy playing... I play a bit of a relegation game, so I'll, like, put cars in, and then I'll... If I get a new one, there's then a debate as to, like, which car Is gets relegated. Better? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so then they, they get relegated to the toy box. I could spend hours just um, moving them all around. These are good detailed models as well, aren't they? What brand are these? Uh, so those are Mini GT. Yes, that's it. Wheels. Um, and you've got Tarmac Works, Pop Race. Yeah, I've got a Tarmac Works um, 850, obviously, because you have to have one. Um, cool, man. I believe in this cupboard as well is your favourite. Oh, look, he's got boxes there is more. down here. Oh, it's terrible. It really is terrible. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yes, this is... Was... No, it's still here. Oh. This is one that a lot of people are looking for in the, the Volvo community, which, yes, was ordered online because it's cheap. But you've got a 240 with a trailer. Don't tell me a lot of people are looking for that. There's a lot of people who are looking for it. Oh, them. I've got one. Open in my toy box. Brilliant. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, the Volvo 240 Drift Camper. Found it in Tesco um, when we were on holiday. Oh, what was it you noticed with the car? Was it the trailer? On the back of the car, the picture looks different to the trailer, so you want to open it to see if it's actually correct on the other yeah. side. I like that there's a, there's a skateboard on the roof of the caravan, which Do is pretty cool. The dogs, in the, boot, the dogs are not in the boot because they've removed the rear end of the car to put the tow hitch on, but I, I wish they would just do a normal 240. Yeah. You know, like the 850 was a fairly normal style. Just an actual 240 instead of the Drift 240. Um, cool. Right. So, while we're here, because we're filming for YouTube, mm -hmm. can we do a little panel on the Volvo and see how it comes up? Is that we possible? We can give it a wipe down and give it a quick time. That's what, that's what I was thinking. Just yeah. have a little look and see Just how it's going to come out. Test spot and see what happens. That's it. A test spot. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Let's do it. Perfect. Yeah, you know, we weren't chatting then. I always do the best chat off camera. So we were just saying this was an odd one when it came up for sale because it was a two litre automatic, which is the most lethargic engine and also the most thirsty, which is ridiculous. Yeah. And the most boring. And the most boring. So it's slow, it's thirsty, and it's an auto. And it's a pre facelift car, which means the bumpers are totally different, which actually makes finding parts much harder, doesn't and it? And the headlights are different, and the trims under the headlights are different. And the yes, wings are different. their headlights don't wrap around as and much. The spoilers are different. Yes, yeah. so um, that everything about it is different. But what you've done with it is rip out the interior, change it to a manual box, and fit a V70R engine. Yes, so we've got 2.4 out of the. Oh, there's water in there. Uh, 2.4 out of the laser blue. Brilliant. And that'll be connected to a manual box, which will make it quite a weapon. Yes. And the best bit about it is I can put a silly steering wheel in there because there's no airbags. Okay, cool. Because it never came with airbags. Um, I wouldn't mind having to play with this on a track when you, uh, when you get it on the track. Oh, eventually. Because you know yeah. it. But it will see a track one day, maybe might overheat the day four or blow up or break itself in some way, shape or form. When we get this on the track, I'll bring a Volvo on track as well. Yeah. when you finally do it's maiden track day yes. um, I'll bring something as well because I was watching my Donington footage back the other night thinking mm, I really want to go do that again yeah. especially with driving a manual car again um, yeah. cool alright I think what we decided we we're going to do is we're going to wipe down the top panel over here and just see how the paint comes up what product will you use to do that so for a test spot we'll probably use um, a heavy cut an auto smart heavy cut yeah. Evo X, um, just to see how much we can dig out of it. Yeah. And then we can decide whether we go with just a single stage enhancement or yeah. go for an actual full blown correction. 
Oh, the paint is. <laughs> Lavender. So what are you seeing then? Talk me through it. A lot of scratches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be... There was a more technical way of saying it, but just a, a hell of a load of scratches. But, um, so it's probably never had a proper polish. Um, no. It's a low ownership car, as I say, it's low mileage as well, so it deserves the love. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. We'll go with the phone pad so we don't think of any marring or anything along those lines, but we'll try and get the paint to the decent cut out of it. I'm not going to try and take it all away. I'd be curious to see just how it does come out. Yeah, it'd be, yeah. It'd be fun to give it a real uh, a real proper polish. Oh, the tools are out. The tools are out. Yeah, the camera makes it look like it's spinning a lot slower than it actually is. Yeah, you got them, I mean, some, uh, That's nice. It's got a nice shine on it. A few random scratches in there, but I mean, for the most part, you're just taking that top layer of clear off. Yeah, just chatting now about... So again, again we've been chatting off camera about how rare the early 850 is. So yeah, that was Volvo's first front wheel drive car. Um, and this preface lift, you see how the front bumpers are different on that? Headlights All right. are also the headlights taller. are different. Um, they are taller on yours. They're bigger headlights. Yeah. So this is the 850 that everybody remembers, but that's the earliest one and getting bits for them. George just said he'd really like to find an, a pre-facelift estate to tow his pre-facelift saloon. And so I just don't think it's gonna happen. They're just no, not it's around. Just, it's not gonna happen, but it'd be funny if it did. Oh, it'd be great, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is yours? Is the dashboard the same then? Uh, right. The dashboard is a funny one, because that's on site has a V70. Oh, okay, so this doesn't have the... It's with a bit of love and an angle grinder. So you can fit a V70 dash top yeah. in an early 850? With an angle grinder. Yeah, they don't fit, so the windscreens are a different shape. Right, okay. Um, that I think I, I read somewhere that there was 2,000 minor differences between the 850 and the B70. I thought it was 2,200 or something like that. Possibly. It's a huge amount of differences. And then you've got this 850 that's different to the 850 that they do all of those counting numbers on. Yeah, and then so when you get... to get things to fit this, is dreadful. And then when you get really into it, you start noticing differences between a 94 and a 95 and a 96 and a late 96 as yeah. well. So uh, I said on a video the other day, mine, because it's a 94, has got the more plasticky dash and steering wheel, yeah. which back in the day you'd have gone, oh, if I should have, if I've gone to the next spec on, you'd have had a leather steering wheel. Yeah. But now, 30 years later, your leather steering wheel will be starting to wear. There is no wear no. On, on that no. car at all. I mean, I've got the steering wheel for this one up on the wall up there, funny enough. Because that's, it's a different steering wheel, isn't it? Steering it's wheel, the early, an there's a, it's a non-airbag, but it's, it's, the design of it is more square as well. It's totally different. It's more similar to a 740 wheel. Yeah, it is. Fascinating stuff. It was not fascinating, is it? That's the thing. It's um, totally not fascinating at all, but to it's people like, cool. to people like us. <laughs> I love the way you've got a Saffron R. Rear That's lumber the up there, though. Rear diffuser. Yeah, so it's uh, one of very few uh, local Tomcat and the old forums. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. But funny enough, the other one, the other saffron with that bumper came up for sale on eBay. Yeah. Not too long ago, which I'm also curious to see how much it sold. I loved my V70R, I thought it was a great car. Oh, it was good. Yeah, really enjoyed it. As soon as you got it, I was like, yeah, I now I remember. Oh, <laughs> it's going to happen again. Cool. No, I'd ruin it. Right, and with that then, um, next week, week after? Probably the week after. Yeah, you tell me. Yeah, we'll sort something out. I'll right. uh, message you a couple of dates. Lovely. Something sort of out. And then we'll get her cleaned up. Yes. Should I paint my bumpers before or wait until you've done it? Um, depends how good you are with your masking. 
Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I'm not bad. Might be worth doing them before, just because if there is any overspray, you can sort it out. We can sort it out. I like the sound of that. Cool. All right. Next job. I'm going to paint. Oh, that car's finally stopped idling. That car's been idling the whole time we've been here. Um, Right. I'm going to go and uh, paint my plastics. Wicked. Love it. See you in a bit. See you in a bit.